I am Valorous Music Tutorials, and in this video, I would like to show you how to make a cool filter sweep buildup like this. So basically what I'm using this filter sweep for is to build anticipation up for when all the good stuff is just about to happen. Basically every electronic and pop song uses this to some capacity. So what's going on here is I made a white noise sample in Razor. You can download this sample in the description or you can find your own sample somewhere or make your own. There's lots of ways to find or make white noise samples, but this sample sounds like this. Sorry, let me single that out. And the main thing that's going on here to make this have the swooshing effect is this EQ plugin. Basically, I have a bandpass filter swooshing through all of the frequencies to make that swooshing effect. What the bandpass filter is doing is it is amplifying all of the frequencies immediately surrounding it while blocking out everything else. And that gives it the swooshing effect. The thing is, I found that too quiet, so I added another filter here, a low shelf filter, to amplify this greatly. As you see, what happens here if I turn the bandpass filter off is it basically amplifies every frequency as high as it can go. The bandpass filter normally cancels everything out except what is surrounding it. However, the parts that it amplifies, it is now basically super amplifying because I have this low shelf filter and that makes it have a much more powerful effect. As you can see that was a little bit too powerful, it actually almost crashed my software. So I'm having another equalizer after it to even out the sound. Basically, I'm taking out a lot of the low end and emphasizing the high end towards the end where the sound would normally begin to get weaker. Next, and this is totally optional, I used a flanger to add some extra effect. Again, this is optional, but I thought it sounded pretty good for this sound. I added an effect that sounded just like this. What's more important, though, is I added some reverb towards the end of everything. The reverb is what's going to make it sound all windy and whooshy the way that you want it to be. I'm using a free reverb plugin called Ambience, which I personally believe to be among the best free reverb plugins out there. And I'm using a preset called Topaz Dreaming 1. Finally, I thought the sound was getting a bit loud at some places, so I added a compressor at the end to even out the sound. I'm using the default compressor at Reaper because I actually happen to like it. And that is the final sound.
Now, before I close out, there is still one more thing to cover. How exactly am I automating this bandpass filter to go all by itself? You may have noticed this thing down here where it starts low and gets higher, and you may think that's what's controlling it. If you think that, you would be correct, because that is what is going on. Reaper has very good automation. Actually, pretty much every DAW does, but I'm quite fond of Reapers. Basically, what you do is first think about what you want to control. In this case, I have band 4, and since it is sweeping across the frequencies, I'll just keep that in mind. So I go here, I sort through until I find the plugin I want to sort through, and then I look up band 4 four and I want the frequency one because that's what I want to control. You can control all sorts of stuff as you can see. But what I'm you but what I'm controlling here is the frequency. From there, I right click in my first location, my starting point and create a point, and then I go to my end location and create another point. And I move my end location to where I want it to end up. I think right about there is where we had it. And that is what is making it go all by itself. As you can see, I'm also using that exact same thing on this base down here, but that's a completely different topic, so I'm not going to get into that now. So that is how you can make a cool filter sweep in Reaper. And by the way, in case you're wondering what plugins I was using here, I was using M Equalizer and M Flinger which is a part of a free effects bundle from a company called Melda Productions. If you don't already have a set of effects that you go to, these are really good. They're free, they don't cost a dime, although they do ask you to essentially donate money to them for this, which is fair. But normally they don't cost a dime, and they are very feature-packed and good. Personally, I've used lots of free equalizers. I consider M Equalizer to be one of the best I've ever used in terms of free ones. So if you don't already have plugins to follow along with, I recommend you download these from Melta Productions. I have a download link for that in the description as well. So, thank you very much for watching, and I hope you found this useful. If you did, I would greatly appreciate it if you would check out my Bandcamp and my SoundCloud account, as well as like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. So, thank you again for watching, and I hope you have a great day.